you drop this. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. What's wrong? Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room. <laughs> Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. Whatever. Huh? 
Let's go. It's difficult to say. Huh? What's up? Hmm. I said no.
see ya. Huh? Whatever. Why? Huh? That's right.
How stupid. Nope.
Why? Huh? Really? I don't get it. Hey. See ya. Let's go. Um... Reels? Ha <laughs> 
Sifa, listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, fated to foam. said no. going you ask don't ask stupid questions I don't need a map I throw away my compass my heart will show me the way I walk by myself am I not lonely you ask yeah right I scorn the company of my own shadow freedom that is the rule why don't you try and hold me down I will die magnificently in front of you no one can break my wings. What is this? You killed me. You are a murderer. By your silent smile. By your composed voice. By your dark eyes. By your bashful fingers. I am slain. I am a corpse. Foolish. Wretched. Happy. Surely I'll simply rot away. My last words. Adieu. Au revoir, mon chéri. What is this?
हाँ उसका Yo. I see. 
Um, Eternal Midnight For mornings when I can't see you Spicy mint tea For brunch, a marmalade muffin A touch of bitter fits my mood A sigh is stardust It's like our own Milky Way I can't catch up to your distant back Look! Twilight creeps up on us The distance to you is like an eternal night. What is this? Hurry, let's go! Let's go. Yo. Oh, Senpai.
Well, see ya. Hurry, let's go. I don't get it. Let's go. this. Um... What is this?
Bye. Hey. How stupid. <sighs> nope. Fine. Bye. I'm actually scared that I can't remember anything. Everything about me is borrowed. Everything... is just on loan from that room. If I return what I borrowed, I won't have anything left. The name Marie, this body, this voice... They'll all fade away. I feel like that's what'll happen to me. So, I thought... If only I could at least remember something. I couldn't figure out anything. It's really scary. <sighs> Maybe I don't have any real memories to find. It's beautiful. Hey, is this that one place? We came here after eating the steak skewers. It really is nostalgic here. I don't know why, but it feels like I've known this scenery since a long time ago. I had fun then. Take me there again sometime, okay? Of course I remember, you stupid jerk-faced twerp! I remember. It's a memory. A memory of you and me. Huh. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I feel stupid now. It feels... incredible. Hey, can we make more? More memories? Dummy, <laughs> of course you will. I can't make any without you. I don't have to hurry, huh? Even if I don't have memories, I can make more. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm happy.
Still, you really are a weird person. You're so busy and yet you still take time to take care of me. Why do you do that? Why? That's a lie. I won't believe just words. Don't scare me like that jerk. I hate that part of you. I really hate it. I thought I hated it. <laughs> I gain another memory. Hey, stay like this for a little while longer. So that... I won't forget. It's okay, right? All you clowns. Hey, you! How long are you gonna wear that ugly mask? You know you ain't got the guts for this task. Cover yourself with paint. You're acting like you ain't afraid of what you got in store for your fate. You think you got me? Well, that's too bad. Cause I ain't stupid enough to get had. So drop the pathetic act. I wanna dance and that's a fact. Now quit your gawking. Start to react. Yeah, yeah. Now dance. What is this? My list. The hated. People who are all talk. Lying grown-ups. Keeping up appearances. Hypocrites. Myself. I hate myself. Dumbass. The light. Animals. Only cute ones, though. Like cats. Milk tea. I like lemon too, though. Black, blue, gray too. Only dark gray. And me. What is this? Let's go. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Trying to memorize what your room is like, that's all. So this is where you live. It feels kind of funny. Okay. I now have another memory. A new memory that doesn't have anything to do with the old me. It really does make me happy. Look, I couldn't remember anything. I was fretting, anxious. I took it out on you. I'm sorry. But 
I'm okay now. Let's make lots of memories. Memories so fun, I won't care about the past anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't do it without you. So, you'd better lead the way. Oh, yeah. Here. I don't need to worry anymore, so I'm giving this to you. Finding my memories, making new ones, either way, I'll be with you, right? So, I want you to have this. People see what they want to see, and believe what they want to believe, but I know you're different. No matter how thick the fog is, even if you're misguided by lies and illusions, I know you can find the truth. I'm cheering for you. So, what do we do? You're gonna make new memories with me, right? Memories of the two of us. Song of the Fallen Angel. The Fallen Angel is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice. Her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. Her requiem will become a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies? That's right. Her name is... What is it? What is this? Huh? Release yourself! Release yourself! From desire, from impulse. Logic and rationales are excuses for the weak. Release yourself! Your heart's voice, your internal scream. In exchange for a lost voice, grab hold of your proof of life. Never let it go! What is this? Well, I came to say goodbye. It's been fun. I'm sorry. 
Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. <sighs> I love you. Now and forever. So, goodbye. <laughs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. Goodbye. Who's there? That voice. Marichan? We've been looking for you. What's with that getup? Something wrong? Stay back. That's right, Marichan. We're all here to take you back home. Come on. Let's go, okay? I have no home. You don't get it. Dude, that eye. I can't believe it. Why'd you come? Why? Marie-chan, listen. We don't know what memories have come back to you or how bad they are. But nothing good's gonna happen if you lock yourself away in here. We know we're being meddlesome. But we want to help you. Meddlesome. That's one word for it. You thought I was in danger, didn't you? That I might get killed by the shadows. It'd be better that way. This is a grave. My grave. I'm going to die here. Yeah, Senpai's right. We won't let that happen to you. Shut up! You don't know anything! Emmy-chan! Emmy, Marie, neither of those is my name. I remember. I remember everything. My real name is Kasumi no Okami. You guys fought Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri, right? I'm the same as them. I'm your enemy. One of the ones who covered your town with fog. 
Marie-chan is our enemy? No way! You serious? Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri were those... I remember them too! They're those guys that came out from Adachi Baby and that Namatame guy! That's what you remember? That's right. Sneaking into the human world. Sensing the will of man. My role was to inform the Sigiri what the wish of the people was. That's why I'm the only one of them that looks human. Even without my memory, my body fulfilled my role. In your words, I'm a spy. You were spying without knowing it? That's so cruel. Do you understand now? Plus, I'll tell you something good. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. So, don't come chasing me. Marie-chan! Our world will disappear. What does she mean by that? We know that she's one of those monsters, like the ones that came from within Adachi-san and Namatame. She may have a valid reason for shutting herself in this area. Now's not the time for deduction! She is trying to kill herself! We can't leave her like this! Yes. Either way, we cannot leave her be. Let us hurry. There she is! Marie-chan! Why? Why do you come? Why? I told you I'm your enemy. That you don't need to bother with me. Why did you come this far? Thank you. But it won't do you any good. I'm tired. I... I just want to end it all. Shut up, you know what that means. You think we're just gonna lie down and let you do that? Marie-san, please listen. Even if you are one of those creatures, that's still no reason for you to end your own life. The two Sagiri have been defeated. That means you're... Free? Is that what you think? That's not true. I'm not like you. I don't have freedom. I told you already. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. Our role was more than to simply find out the wishes of man. Our true role is to control the fog and bring that wish to fruition. Control the fog? Don't you think it's strange that the fog never went away? That it lasted for months? The Sagiri created the fog, and I absorbed it. The fog that changes people to shadows. Wait, then the reason the fog cleared was... That's right. When Amino Sagiri was defeated, the fog covering your town was no longer needed. Then I heard a voice, and all the fog flowed into me. The fog isn't gone. Even now, it's raging inside me. No way. So the fog isn't gone after all that? It's just in you now? When my mind is completely overpowered by the fog, I will disappear. Taking the fog and the hollow forest with me, I am... 
a being destined for non-existence. That's the memory that came back to me. The world will be saved. Yes, even if that is her real reason for hiding herself in the Hollow Forest, I cannot agree with the conclusion she is drawing. Hell no! She's saying that we can only have world peace in exchange for her life? Screw that! That's why. That's why I left. Because there's no point in seeing you. We'll just hurt each other. It's okay. It's all okay. I've already made enough memories of my own. Fun. Happy memories. If you're not gonna leave now, then I'll have to make you leave by force. Please. Just understand. Damn it, why did it end up like this? What are we gonna do, partner? Okay! We're saving her! If we give up here, then why the hell did we even bother coming all this way? Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else suffer from that fog. We have to do it. Oh, right, right. Right. Yeah. Huh! How's that, you punk? Now are you gonna listen to us? Why? Why? It doesn't matter what happens to me. You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. If my death keeps you from being happy, what am I dying for? Don't say you're going to die. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I used to be just a shadow too. But even I could change. Emi-chan, you have to believe. What good comes of belief? You save me, and your world is gonna disappear. Is that what you want? That's what it means when you tell me you want me to live. I look so stupid. Afraid of living off borrowed life. Afraid to disappear. Thinking that maybe I could remember something and then I'd have a life worth living. It's funny. I remember now. I already have a role. And it's to disappear. I shouldn't have ever remembered. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. What's wrong? That's right. There is no need for the truth. Ignorance is bliss. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. That voice! That's not Marie-chan! Is that what she meant by her mind being overpowered? Hey! Snap out of it! Uh, don't come near me! Go home! Please! Just go home! All you losers! You just don't know when to quit! I never should have met any of you! Especially you! I hate you! Yeah, what he said. You really aren't true to yourself, are you? You need to work on your acting skills. Stop lying to me! 
It's not a lie. Everything in this world is the product of someone's mind. This place is yours. This tomb, and the flowers all over it. Your resolve to die is what created this scenery. <gasps> However, on the way here we saw things that don't fit a grave. Juness and Sozai Daigaku signs, the bench on the hill, the electric poles, mirrors, school desks. It's all from the town, the home of the people you say you hate so much. What, you want us to bury you with all that stuff? If you like them that much, why don't you come see for yourself, huh? <sighs> I can't. I have to die. Another... way? Yeah, he's right. You don't have to go away forever. The only thing that needs to go is your fog. It's impossible. There's no way. If we waste any more time, the fog will take me over and be set free. If that happens, I won't be able to take my own life. I'll become a monster. Are you saying we should wait for Marie-chan to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Senpai, wait! I mean... It's still her body, right? If we fight the monster... Yeah! Uh... So, what'll happen? I... I don't know. But... Maybe right now. Y you might be able to. I'll put my mind to sleep before the fog overpowers it. Of course, the fog will then take over my body, but my mind will still be safe beneath it. The rest comes down to luck, I guess. Which will give out first? The fog? Or my life? It's one hell of a gamble. What are we gonna do? I'd rather not have to do that. But if there's no other way, then we'll just have to have faith that it'll work. Yeah, it's gotta be better than just sitting here and watching her die. She's not gonna die! We won't let her! This is our friend's life on the line! We can't fail now! Friends. Okay. I trust in you all. Even if I do die, it would be a better way than letting the current situation continue. But, please, don't any of you die. It's coming! Get ready, everyone! Will this really work? Emmy-chan won't die if we fight her? Marie-chan believed in us. We have to believe in her! All right! right. Yeah. Did we do it? How is she, Senpai? Is she okay? No way. This can't be real. No! This can't be! We... Emmy-chan? Come on. You're such a sleepyhead. It's... Time to wake up, okay? No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? Emmy-chan, wake up! Don't die! Get, get off of me! Marie!
Chun! Thank goodness she's alive! Oh! I... That's right! Everyone gets to sleep once in a while, right? <laughs> Thank you. You think that's long enough for a moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? Nope. I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. Hey! Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Risei-chan. Did you feel the Earth move? Or was that just me watching these two? This isn't the time for stupid comments! What's going on? Don't tell me. Is this like in the movies where once the bad guy's defeated, his evil fortress self-destructs? I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's going to disappear. Why the hell didn't you say that sooner? It's going to take us with it! We're going to die! We're all... Just get to the exit! Hurry! I forgot how tiny the TV here is. I feel like this has happened before. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. It's your fault to begin with! The TV! That was never a television. The Hollow Forest has vanished. Because there's no more reason for it to exist. We did it! So, how does it feel to have your fate changed? Well, it feels weird. After all, I'm alive. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Um, thank you for saving me. And I'm sorry. W what? Why are you looking at me like that? You... You just said sorry, didn't you? She did, very politely. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Huh? You, you stupid jerk! Fine then! F forget it! I take it back! Oh well... Listen to me! What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? You don't get anything out of it. I don't understand you. Really? To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blamed things on someone else and looked the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Valentine? Ah, oh, so you don't know what that is either. Huh. It's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. Oh, and I already reserved Senpai. Whatever. No cheating. Reservation cancelled. Why, you... That was quick. Well, let him get to it. Hey, it's clear outside! You're right. I need to do all the laundry. My back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Sounds good. On you, of course. Oh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time! Yeah, I'm okay. 
Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Hmm. Well, when I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Something like that, anyway. I don't know. But it was familiar. The same voice I heard when you defeated Amino Sagiri and the fog flowed into me. Wait. Maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Maybe it's something I said long ago? Oh well. The fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. <laughs> Scared you, huh? The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? Oh yeah. You ever been in a snowball fight, Marichan? Hmm. Hey, how are we gonna split the teams? to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? Okay, I will bury him. Hold on, you have the eyes of a predator. The teams will be women versus men. Now begin. Oh, come on! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? Take this! Get him, Marie-Chan! Snowball skills. Well, I do feel a bit sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie Chan. You go, Snowball Queen. <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. Whoa, your skin is so pretty. Your complexion is amazing. <laughs> Yo, can you see anything? The steam's covering all the good stuff. Oh. Hey, Kanji, up, up! Don't let me down now! Ah, uh, Ted, you punk, I'm oh, done hey, with this! Cut it! Uh. Uh. <laughs> you dirty pervert! Oh, trying to peep again! Electricity, here's a bad idea! Disgusting creeps! I hate you all! <laughs> You're late. Whatever. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. I have chocolate. You can have it. That room doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Sorry. It's okay? It's fine? Huh. What do you mean, incredible? You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now.
You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual. Huh. I looked it up. I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I'm telling the truth! Look, just close your eyes. Shut up and close them. Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but it looks like I don't just like you. I want to be with you forever and ever. I love you. I love you so much. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. 
The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. Welcome back. Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you... I would have disappeared along with the fog when the hollow forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be all right. The fragments you defeated have returned to me and will soon become one. My name is Izanami no Mikoto, the fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you. Please do not forget. I am always by your side. And now, the weather. It was nice and sunny today, but what will it look like after that? Take it away, Mariko. rain recently, so starting today, I'm gonna make it sunny. I mean, after all that rain, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any water shortages this summer. And besides, someone's visiting. I can't have it rain while he's here, so I'm gonna keep it sunny for a while. Mariko? Mariko, please calm down. Oh, but if it gets too hot, then some rain should be fine. He should tell me whenever he wants it different, and I'll change it. Just like that. Oh, I forgot to mention... She's been coming here a lot. She's famous now. How'd she get so popular so fast? What was the station thinking? Her stage name's so boring, too. This girl will decide tomorrow's weather, right? Whenever she says it's going to be sunny, the sun comes out. Uh, in her case, maybe. Thanks, Mariko. Tell our viewers goodbye. Uh, yeah, yeah, but before that, a personal message. I'm doing just fine. Love you. What? Uh, what's that? Did she just confess her love on a public news show? <laughs> I can imagine the complaints flying in right now. Kids these days. 
Wait, that, that was your name. Funny, you were so lucky, huh? <laughs> I see that weather girl a lot. The younger ones at the station tell me they feel motivated whenever she does that. I feel it a little myself, to be honest.